Ilya, I'd be curious to know if you feel like you have gotten under Max Holloway's skin in the lead up to this fight. Mm, I never thought about that, to be honest, and I don't care. I will be in his skin on this Saturday, that's for sure. You know, he's saying that uh, he was here earlier today and he feels that, you know, about this whole finger pointing story that you haven't earned that moment with him yet and you're just a cop uh, copycat of Conor McGregor. I never ask him if I deserve that or not. I will be pointing to the ground since the first second of the fight. If he wants to stay with me in the middle, it's okay and prove that he's the real BMF. Uh, and if he decides to don't do that, it's okay too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a different way to finish him and take his head off. Uh, I've noticed that in the lead up to this fight, you've had a BMF belt, but it's not here today. Did you bring it with you to Abu Dhabi? Uh, yeah, I have it with me. Did you decide that you deserve to be the BMF belt because he wasn't defending it against you, or why did you purchase that? For me personally, the, the, the opinion I have is that that belt was created for and because of George Masvidal, beside of him, no one is a BMF. But if someone has to have it, I prefer to have it. Do you believe that your chances of winning this fight go up if it's about finishing him or if it goes the distance can you match with him for the whole five rounds and match his pace uh, of course i'm i'm ready for, not for five rounds to be honest i'm ready for for 10 or 15 rounds whatever he wants to do i can i can do it uh, but i i don't think that the fight will will go to the distance i will finish him mm, before that. If you knock out Alex Volkanovski and Max Holloway in one year, does that make you the best fighter this year? Uh, I, I don't know who takes that, that, that decision, but if they, they think that I'm the best fighter, I will be very grateful with that. If not, Alex is a great fighter too. He deserves to be a, the best fighter. You, you know? yeah, right here. Um, you use the phrase that you're the new era of mixed martial arts quite often. Max, I, I asked Matt, Max about that. He said, you know, you don't really do anything different. You punch, you kick, you wrestle, you do everything everyone else has done. So I guess, what exactly do you mean by saying that you are the new era of MMA? The, the way I applicate the techniques and the, and, and, and the skills to my opponent, the way I move uh, my head, the way I, the way I dominate the, the octagon, that's the that's the difference. What, what uh, evolution do you see in Max Holloway in every fight? Maybe only in striking, but you don't see him getting better in wrestling or in the ground. You don't see him trying trying new things. Only in the striking. And this is what I'm talking about. I try to evolve the game all the time, not only in the striking, and with the wrestling, with the ground game, with everything. And to kind of go off of that, you know, everyone talks about Max Holloway's boxing and he's the best boxer in the UFC in this. But, you know, he broke Justin Gaethje's nose right away with that spinning back kick. Uh, he per Anthony Pettis with the same kick. Do you think people are focused so much on his boxing that maybe they don't see everything else well that he does? Uh, in reality, he's a, he's a good strike. It's not only a boxer because calling himself so best boxer in the UFC is kind of shame, I think, because he's not the best boxer in the UFC. Uh, but he's a good striker, he has a lot of experience, he's very patient in, in, inside the octagon, but everyone is good when they can devol develop their they style inside the octagon and, and, and someone is not putting the pressure on him. So. On Saturday night, he's gonna feel something that, that he never felt with, with any other opponents that he had in the past. The pressure he's gonna feel with me, it's gonna be completely different. If you defeat him, do you feel like there is no more challenge left for you at featherweight and perhaps you wanna fight Islam Makhachev next? What's, what's it for you? Uh, before I used to make more, pr more predictions about that and I was, I wanna fight, this one or that, but at the end of the day, I want to do my job, which is to show up and fight, and we'll see what the what the USC wants me to do. If they call me and they want me to move up to the lightweight division, I I, I will be okay with that to move up and be the first one to submit Islam. And if they want me to keep defending that belt in the featherweight division, I will be okay with that too. So let's leave that decision to to the USC. 
You say that you were Max Holloway fan when you were young and watching him while growing up and becoming the professional fighter. What kind of difference do you see from Max, for example, five, six years ago and Max today? Um, that's the thing, I don't see any, any, any difference. He's the same Max Holloway that we have seen since, I don't know, 2020. <laughs> since I made my UFC debut, he, he's the same one. A uh, good striker, uh, very patient in the, in, in the octagon, but that's it. Uh, I didn't see any evolution in, in his game. You're one of the fewest fighters that says that does everything that he says. What's the secret to this? Is it just confidence? Is it a mixture between confidence and training? How are you able to do everything that you say? To prepare yourself, you, yourself for what you're saying, right? Mm, I just trust myself. I know the, the, the preparation I have for everything I have in front, and my confidence com comes from that, from the preparation. Does it put more pressure on you the more you win? Because, as you know, the more you win, you fight with... No, not at all, because many people think that I'm trash talking, but I'm only saying the truth. I'm saying what I really feel inside myself. Uh, so, a lot has changed, and now, for the first time, you're defending your title. And I feel like your nickname, Matador, right now is even more apt in this, uh, in this circumstance than usual, because for the first time, people will be coming at you to try to take away something that you have, right? Does that somehow affect the strategy that you are planning to implement in this fight, or are you still sticking to the game plan of moving forward like you usually do? I always stick to my, stick to my game plan. They always wanted to, wanted to take something from me, which is the, the undefeated record, and no one could, and no one will will do that i will keep and retire as undefeated fighter okay fantastic uh i, I saw from the videos and of course in, on the embedded that you have uh Basically, you and Guram Kutatoladze, another fighter from Georgia, the lightweight, are working together actively in this camp. Uh, was that just because you've worked with him prior, in pr prior, and uh, you're comfortable with working with him, or is it because he's able to show you some things and some implement some of the techniques that maybe Max uses? Uh, the first thing is that I felt very comfortable with, with him. He's my brother, and we we did a lot of training camps together. And the second one is, of course, that he can simulate a lot the, the Max always style. Okay, thank Better you. Better than even Max did. <laughs> and one last question for me: uh, Do you have have you prepared the rose al already? Everything is prepared. Everything is prepared. The victory is prepared too. The only thing I have to do is to go there Saturday night and pick up what's mine. Fantastic. Thank you and good luck with that. Bye-bye. Thank you very much to everyone.